Hi everyone, this is the first video of a little series that will help explain how to set up your electric guitar. Today we go through adjusting the truss rod and over the next episodes we'll set up the string action, dial in the intonation and determine the sweet spot of the pickup height. There'll also be a before and after comparison in the end of the series because this guitar will sound a lot better after being correctly set up, so stay tuned. This is Rina and you are watching Bandforge. Why is there a truss rod and why does it need adjustment? The truss rod is a metal bar that sits in your guitar's neck and its job is to compensate the string's tension on the neck. Without a truss rod, your instrument can be adapted to different string gorges, string materials, tunings or even playing styles. Even a climate change due to travel could be an issue since a different humidity has an impact on the next wood. What kind of adjustment should I aim for with the truss rod? That depends a bit on your personal preferences, but as I mentioned in this video, for a beginner it's easiest to play on a low string action setting. The first step to achieve that is to straighten the neck with the truss rod. And this is what we're doing today. One last thing I need to mention before we take out our Allen keys and turn that truss rod nut. If you do irresponsible things to your truss rod, you can damage your guitar severely and the repair will probably cost more than a new neck. So be careful, don't do anything you don't feel comfortable doing and don't rush into things. Still, I think that this is very doable um, just take your time, make sure you've understood the whole concept before taking action. And above that, only do a small adjustment at a time. Now, how does the truss rod adjustment work? Your guitar snack has a rooted cavity beneath the fretboard in which the truss rod sits. On modern guitars like this Tele, you'll find the truss rod adjustment nut up here where the headstock begins. Sometimes this is covered by a piece of plastic that needs to be removed before you can access the nut. Now, turning the nut clockwise will cause the neck to change its curvature like this. When you massively over tighten the truss rod nut, you run the risk of either damaging the truss rod itself or the whole neck. Also, never turn the nut for more than one eighth of a turn at once because the wood needs some time to adjust. On the other hand, if you turn the truss rod adjustment nut counterclockwise, so in this direction, the neck will do the opposite and bend like this. You may ask yourself now, but what happens when I overdo the loosening of the truss rod? Is it dangerous too? If you do it, um, the nut may come off and you can just get it back on, so nothing bad should happen. But still keep the changes small because the wood really needs some time to adjust. So again, no more than an eighth of a turn at once. That's all about how this theoretically works, so let's jump into setting up this Squire Affinity Telecaster and see what happens. Firstly, let's make sure the strings are properly tuned and then take a look at your neck. This adjustment looks good to me by eye, but we can use a string as a guide. The easiest way is to clamp down the strings at the first fret with a capo and hold the low E string down with one finger at the 17th fret. With my free hand, we check how much space there is between the 7th and 8th fret. There's a gap. If you have a suitable ruler which starts at scale right at the beginning, you can measure the distance here. A good setting for a low action is between 0.007 to 0.015 inches. Unfortunately, I don't have a decent ruler at hand, but there's an easy workaround for that. We know our high E strings diameter is 0.009. So that's close. Let's use this for our measuring. If you like little hacks like that, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you have the right Allen key or whatever it is your guitar needs. The right tool is essential since we don't want to strip the nut out. Don't use a metric key for an imperial nut or vice versa. Now, all we have to do is adjust the truss rod until we've achieved 
the gap we want here. Just keep in mind that you have to retune all strings after every adjustment to really see what changed. Once you're finished, even if the string action still doesn't feel right at the moment, you've just created the basis for the rest of the adjustments. Before you take the next step though, let your guitar sit for 24 hours. This wraps it up for today's episode. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Once the next episode of this series will be released, you'll find it here probably. And if you want to know more about the Squire Affinity Telecaster, please check out my in-depth review right here somewhere. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.